Speaking to RTUK, SNP Angus McNeil hinted that Scotland may be encouraged by the news of the Catalonia independence protests. Thousands of people took to the streets in Catalonia to vote in an illegal independence referendum on Sunday. But a brutal police crackdown left over 800 people, injured as officers armed in riot gear stormed polling stations and fired rubber bullets at protesters. In response to the independence protests, Mr. McNeil said Catalonia was once an independent country, 200 years ago, it's re-establishing that. Jeddardic politician Angus McNeil hinted that the Catalonia uproar could spark a Scottish independence vote. On the Iberian Peninsula, of course, we've had Portugal already, so I don't see what Madrid is particularly concerned about having Catalonia and Portugal staying in the peninsula with them. And there's been many other parts of Europe watching with interest as to what is happening in Catalonia. But I think we have to look at Catalonia on its own merits, and given all that has happened in Catalonia, it deserves that. I think every place is different, but it looks like Catalonia is on the way to independence, and it will certainly be encouraging for many others across Europe. Following Sunday's referendum, Spanish police ordered two convoys of army troops to move to the Catalan region. The army was sent to Catalonia to provide logistical support after around 150 members of the Guardia Civil were forced to leave their hotel accommodation in Calella on Monday following a protest by locals. Around 90 percent of Sunday's 2.2 million voters wanted Catalonia to become a separate nation from Spain. The leader of Catalonia has told Spain that it will refuse violence as it continues to push for independence. It is believed that the Spanish region could call independence as early as next Monday.